The following tutorial is a full guide to player scale and architecture world dimensions inside Unreal Engine 4. You will learn the base dimensions for player character and for architecture elements such as walls, doors, doorways and stairs. Knowing these will help you to keep your environment to correct proportion. And you have to know these dimensions before you start any project inside Unreal Engine 4. So let's begin. You always want to build to player scale. That means you have to know the player scale and architecture dimensions prior to starting your game, your level design or game environment. Now most of the time these dimensions are set for you. For example if you're creating a level or an environment for a specific game and the player scale along with world architecture has already been predefined for you. Knowing the player scale and architecture dimensions will help you to avoid weird proportion such as architecture and props that are too large or too small. So what do you need to know? Player character dimensions you need to know the height of the character and width and depth which are basically the collision bounding box of the player character. And if you are designing a playable level you need to know the jump height of the character and the crouch height. For architecture you need to know the base dimensions for walls, columns, stairs, the depth and the height of each stair, doorways and doors. There are two important things to consider is the scale of the architecture and the player model is always relative to the project and the game you're creating for and it has to look and feel right from the point of view of the player. So in this tutorial I give you the guidelines for base dimensions of the character and architecture elements but you may have to modify to fit your specific project and specific style of the game or the environment you're creating for. So use these dimensions as a base, as a starting point and then modify to suit your needs. The very first and very important element of scale in Unreal Engine 4 is to know that one Unreal unit equals to one centimeter. And if we jump right into the editor and I have first person shooter example game opened and if you look up here in the top perspective viewport bar we have grid snap value set to 10. If we set it to 1 and go into orthographic viewport and zoom in that means each grid unit is 1 centimeter or 1 unreal unit and if we bump this up to 10 now each grid unit is 10 centimeters and we can keep bumping this up to increase the grid units all the way up to 10,000. But the important part to know is the grid sizes equal to centimeters. So now that you know that grid scale Unreal units equal to centimeters, we can go right into character scale. The base dimensions for a character in Unreal is 180 centimeters or 180 Unreal units. And width and depth is about 60 units. 180 centimeters is roughly about 6 feet and when you are creating your environment you should always insert a character reference scale into the world, into the level. This character scale could be a BSP brush, it could be an imported static mesh that has the same dimensions as a character scale or it could be a skeletal mesh reference of your character in game. Here I have a basic map template setup and I have the BSP brush, a static mesh box, and a skeletal reference as a play reference that I would use in order to start building the world. The BSP brush is a simple box with dimensions of 60 in width and depth and height of 180. Same thing for a static mesh box which was created inside a 3D modeling app and then imported as a simple box for reference scale. And then I have a skeletal mesh that was taken from the first person shooter game example as a player reference scale. So you can use either one of these and insert them into the world as a beginning point to judge proportion and scale of your environment. So here I placed them right next to a couple of chairs and table. And from here I would continue building and always pay attention to how these objects are relative to the player scale within this world. Now we can go over architectural dimensions. First are walls. Average wall height is 300 units and wall thickness is 20 units. And the width of the wall 
This will vary depending on the type of wall you're creating. In this scene, I have the character reference scale and the wall height of 300 units. And this is a good base reference for a wall. If we fly over here, I have a little interior made up. And in here, these walls are 300 units high. And this is a good residential house or an apartment feel of this wall height. And right next door, I have walls that are made at 400 Unreal units. And this could work, but it's a little bit too high. It feels a little bit off. But again, you have to jump inside the game and see it from the point of view of the player. Next up are doors and doorways. A good door width is good anywhere between 110 and 140 units. And a door height is anywhere from 210 to 230 units. So here is a doorway and a door at 210 height and 110 width. And over here I have a doorway and a door at 230 height and 140 width. And they both feel and look right. But the ultimate test is to jump inside the game and look around from the point of view of the player. So this feels a little bit too cramped, a little bit small. So a door height of 230 could work a lot better than at 210. So you'll have to play around between these two values and find the right dimensions for your project. And last we have stairs and steps. A good step height is 15 units and a good step depth is 30 units. Back in the editor I have two set of stairs. These are 15 in height and 30 in depth. And over here I have stairs that are 20 in height and 30 in depth. And both will work. But the ones that are set at 15 height and 30 depth look a little bit better. I also want to point out a note on windows and I'm not gonna cover windows for dimensions and scale because these are relative to the style and the design that you're going after and they will vary greatly. Using these dimensions will help you to keep your level and your environment to correct scale and proper proportion. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.